Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to protect a worksheet. So there may be some instances where you're sending in worksheets off to folks and there's areas where you want the users to modify and areas where you don't want them to modify. So in our example here is a small table and the cells in yellow, these are the areas where I think it's okay to modify but the other cells I don't want users to modify. Now there are two steps to go through protecting a worksheet. First is to determine which cells do you want uh, unprotected, unprotected or unpro not protected. Unprotected or protected. Basically locked or unlocked. And then the second thing is to protect the worksheet. So let's go here and these are the cells that I want um, unprotected. Basically these can be modified. So I'm going to select the cells, right click and go under where it says format cells go to the protection tab and as you can see here it's already locked so basically when we lock a cell by default uh, all cells are locked so once it's locked that means it is protected once you turn on protection so I want to unlock those cells click OK as you can see here you can't see it but now if I selected other cells and right clicked it we can see it's locked click OK and I go back here right click that format cells and we see it is the the locked box is uh, unchecked go and cancel that so the second thing that we need to do is to protect the worksheet so we go under I believe it was uh, what was it formulas layout insert uh, review review <laughs> go under the review tab and under where it says changes go ahead and just click protect sheet now there's the option if we wanted to uh, enter a password to unprotect the sheet, but we're not going to do that here. And there's all these other options where we can allow the user to uh, do any selections or perform any other uh, uh, task or uh, uh, <coughs> actions onto the worksheet. So you can see here there's a there's a slew of other things that folks can do, but for our purposes here, we're just going to highlight how to protect and unprotect the sheet. So once we have, uh, we'll just select select lock cells and select unlocked cells. So we click OK and we can see, we'll test it out. So we have a quantity, let's say we have 10 doohickeys that gives us 39.99 and we'll have well, 5, what you may call it, that'll give us 29.95. So let's say we want to change the price here. I select that cell, I type in 4 if I type, try to type in uh, some value, we can see that we have a uh, window that pops up that's saying it's protected and you can't do anything about it. So that's how we go ahead and do uh, protection on a worksheet. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.